Good evening, everyone. I am Ziani Mjatat. I'm from Cameroon. I was born in the west part of the country, and I grew up in the same part with my four brothers and one uh, sister. Unfortunately, my father passed away when I was 12, and my mother struggled and sacrificed uh, almost all her life for our education. She's really a fantastic woman, and I love her so much. During my secondary education, <laughs> thank you. During my secondary uh, education, I had to leave school at least three days per week in order to help her in farm or to find money somewhere. Actually, at the age of uh, 14, she got sick, and it was really impossible for me to continue with my study. Fortunately, I got a part-time job at the age of 14, uh, that's the kind of stuff I used to do. And I go up, on, up to the end of my secondary education. Then I got my uh, BAC, and I went to the University of Yaoundé one in 2000, where I spent seven years to, got, uh, to get my master's degree in probability and statistics. I have had a very sad story uh, at the University of Yaoundé one, which is actually, I got the two friends, but today it's really difficult for me to think of them because the one who was the most intelligent among us is a soldier. Mm. The other one is a sailor. Not because they wanted to do that kind of job, mm. but because they didn't have any opportunity to do further studies. Simultaneously with my study at the University of Yaoundé one, I was also a student at the high school training teacher college of Yaoundé. And then after my graduation there, my government appointed me as a secondary teacher in the south part of the country. In this context, it was really uh, difficult for me to continue with my study because that part was very far from the university. So when I found the opportunity to come here at EMS, I got slightly into a dilemma, into a dilemma because all those who were around me, my mother precisely, they didn't want me to come here. They told me that you have just got a position. Why do you want to continue with study? You have been studying for a long time. We think that it's time for you now to stop and to think about concrete life. But from inside of me, I was, con I was confident that the best choice for me was to continue. So I am here today, and day after day, I am really proud of that. After my graduation at EMS, I intend to pursue my study in a graduate program in probability and actuarial sciences. My interest in that field stems from the fact that in my country, the lack of an optimal social security system is in some sense behind many problems we are facing. And after my PhD, I hope I will get a postdoctoral position and then I will be able to return in my country in order to teach and to give consultancy. From my experience in my country and my experience here at EMS, I believe, uh, uh, actually, I don't believe, I know that <laughs> Africa has many, many sources, and one fantastic of them is EMS. Thank you for your attention.